What's going on you guys? Um, so today I'm going to be talking about a subject that is by far my most asked question. Uh, well, maybe not by far, but uh, it's probably my most asked question when people ask me uh, questions during the week. I get this, you know, I've been asked this thousands of times and that's Lloyd, how do I get rid of my approach anxiety? <laughs> well, actually in this video, I'm going to do you one better and I'm going to teach you how to destroy your approach anxiety. I'm going to give you four steps. This is the tip of the iceberg of what I'm going to be teaching um, in my workshop later this week, uh, which is basically going to cover all of these things. I'm gonna teach you how to permanently eliminate approach anxiety from your life. Now, this is not gonna be an easy thing to do, so if I could summarize it in this video, I would, but I think with these four steps, you're definitely gonna be able to cut down on it a lot. So, uh, let's talk about how to cut down on the approach anxiety in this video. So I think you guys are gonna get a lot out of this with just these four steps, so let's begin. Okay, so the first of the four steps is basically um, stop thinking so far in advance. Okay, one of the things that I've seen with a lot of my students and with me especially too is that the more nervous you get It's usually because you're thinking so far into the future, you know before you walk up to her You're thinking oh is she gonna laugh at me? Is, is are her friends gonna think I'm a loser are, are other people watching me? You know does she have a boyfriend? How am I gonna ask her on a date? You know, um, you know what happens later on down the line when we're talking what if I can't think of what to say? You know all of these things are coming up in somebody's head and it, because you're thinking about all these things that may or may not happen, it causes you to worry a lot, a lot of this uncertainty. But if you just sat down and say, hey, you know what, let me just say hi to this girl and see if she's as cool as she looks. That right there is gonna ease your mind a lot more because now you're just focusing on having a conversation with somebody. You're not focused on, is she gonna like me? Is she gonna laugh at me? Am I gonna look stupid? All of these types of things that are gonna cause you to worry, you're gonna focus on the only thing that really matters and that's what's really gonna make for the best interaction anyway. So stop thinking so far ahead and just think, hey, let me say hi to this girl, see if she's as cool as she looks. Okay, thing two is to talk to somebody else. I would highly recommend that you talk to somebody else before you talk to the main girl that you're really interested in. And that's that's just if you feel like really, really nervous. You know, I usually don't have a problem talking to a girl that I'm really interested in if I, um, if I see her and I like her. Um, but sometimes there's times where I'm not in that kind of mode and I feel really, really nervous. So what I'll do is like, let's say I'm at line at Starbucks or something like that and I see a girl who's, um, you know, sitting down or waiting for a coffee and I want to talk to her and I feel really, really nervous. You kind of get that rush and you're just like, ah, oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I say? Um, well, when I'm in this scenario, what I'll usually do is I'll usually talk to the person behind me or, or maybe I'll talk to the, you know, the person who's taking my order. I'll just ask them how their day is going, blah, 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 blah. And that kind of gets me into the social mode a little bit more. So if you flex your social muscles a little bit, the main, you know, it's kind of like when you're in the gym where if you warm up a little bit, you get ready for the bigger lift. Same thing with your, with working your social muscles. You work them a little bit, then when you go talk to the girl that you're actually really into, um, it's gonna be a lot easier for you because you've already practiced. A lot of times we call this warming up. Okay, uh, step number three is, gonna, or tip number three rather, <laughs> is going to be to know what to say. And this is really something that I'm gonna be focusing a lot on during the workshop too. We're gonna to have a list of questions for you to turn to. If you're thinking about, if, you, if your mind draws a blank and you can't think of what to say next, just turn to one of these questions and your conversation will be right back on track, okay? Um, a lot of times these are small talk questions. These are some questions where she can just see that you're a normal human being. You can kind of relax yourself and then be free to tease her, be free to flirt, be free to be fun and playful uh, and all of those things that's gonna make her like you more. Um, um, so we'll go cover those list of questions. If you want a quick list of questions right now, I highly recommend that you check out my video on five questions I ask every girl when I'm out. Those are basic small talk questions. It's just like, you know, how are you? Where are you from? What do you do? Um, you know, and what are you up to? This, this is, I think, four of them. <laughs> okay, I go a little bit more in depth in the video. Um, we're definitely gonna go more in depth on, on that workshop too. So uh, step number four is going to be, be okay with being nervous. Being nervous is fine, man. Like, I get nervous all the time too. You know, when I, before I'm about to talk to somebody, before I'm about to, uh, you know, even for a job interview. Well, I haven't done a job interview in a long time, but you know, if I was doing a job interview or before I do a presentation or maybe I'm doing a new project for this business or something like that, and I, I get nervous sometimes. Being nervous is okay, dude. Being nervous is fine. 
Anybody, no matter how good looking or rich they are, they all get nervous. But it's how you deal with the fear that really separates yourself from someone who's gonna be unsuccessful with women and someone who's gonna be really successful, okay? Don't let the fear control you. And the best way to let the fear control you is to try and fight it. The more you fight the fear, the more energy it takes you. But if you just sat down and said, hey, I'm nervous, interesting. I think I'm gonna to talk to her and see what happens. That's what I like to tell myself, you know? Being nervous is okay. It's not something that you have to get rid of. It's not something that, you know, is required for you to not feel at all before you act confident. Dude, some of the, you know, some of the best dating experiences that I've had, I was nervous before the date or I was nervous before I went up and talked to her the first time. I think a little bit of nerves is good. It shows you that you're still human. So embrace those, stop beating yourself up, and it's gonna be a lot easier for you to face that fear once you've accepted it. Um, and that's actually something that we're gonna be going more in depth on uh, in the workshop as well too. You know, asking yourself, where does this fear come from? You know, why am I experiencing this emotion? So that you, can actually f you can actually face what's truly causing the fear head on, and that's super important when it comes to actually being able to eliminate this stuff for good. So again, if you're interested in joining that workshop, there's a link in the description box below. Click on the link, fill out the form, um, and I'll be seeing you soon. So thanks for watching, you guys. If you made it yet, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Good luck out there, you guys.